In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Python, the programming language Python, on Windows in 2019. And if you already have Python installed, I'm also going to show you how to install uh, basically the newest version that's available and how to run that on your computer as opposed to the older version, which you might have had on there before. So uh, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head on over to python.org and go to slash downloads. And you can see all the different versions that are available here. The newest version, the newest stable version that's available for Windows is uh, posted at the top of the file or at the top of the, the website here. So if you want to download it for Linux, Mac or whatever other operating system you're using, you can just click these various links. But I'm on Windows, so I'm going to click this one right here. I accidentally clicked it twice, but either way, there it is. And uh, now it's done downloading. I'm going to click it and run the installer. So I'm actually going to go to customize installation because I don't want the documentation. If I want to look at the Python documentation, I'm just going to go to the website and go to the documentation right here. They have really great documentation. I do want to install pip, which allows you to install other Python libraries very easily from the command line. You'll see that in action in later videos. Uh, this is the first of what will probably be a very long series of about 100 videos uh, showing you how to build a website with Python. So uh, more, more about pip later. I don't know. Oh, this is the, um, the idle uh, development environment. We're going to be using Sublime Text, or I'm going to be using Sublime Text. But either way, I think this is good to have on your computer because you can very easily edit uh, Python files using the, this development environment. Uh, I don't know what the test suite does, but I'm going to leave it checked anyway. I, I'm assuming it's for building Python tests or something like that, but uh, I'm not going to be doing any of that, but let's leave it checked anyway. Now I'm going to go to next. Uh, here I want to click add Python to environment variables. That's kind of the most important thing because uh, if you don't add it to environment variables, your system won't know where to find Python and won't be able to run Python files. So very important that you do this, but we're going to be talking more about that later in this video also. If you want to install for all the users on your computer, you want to click install for all users. I only have a single user on this computer, so I'm just going to leave it unchecked. Uh, associate files with Python by launcher. Yes, create shortcuts for installed applications. Sure. Uh, and the other ones I can leave unchecked. And this is important. We want to remember this installation location. So user, my user's name is user. It's not my actual name, which is Mitch. App data, local programs, Python, and then Python 37-32. Um, so that's the Python version. And then let's just click install. So that's it. Our Python is installed on the system. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to confirm that everything is working correctly. And you won't be able to see because of the frame that I've selected on my computer, but I'm going down to the Windows 10 kind of search menu. You can see a bit of it there. Sorry, I just can't show it because I've clipped a certain piece of my screen and I'm typing environment variables. And uh, this option comes up here. You still can't really see it, but it says edit the system environment variables. So when I click that, I get a window that pops up like this. I want to go to, I can actually close this. Uh, I want to go to, let's go to environment variables. And now inside of the path uh, variable, or the, I'm not sure what to call this, inside of path in the environment variables for this user, I want to go to edit and I want to make sure that the Python scripts directory and the Python 3.7 directory have been added to the environment variables. Uh, you'll also notice that I have Python 3.6 down here. So this is here because I had a previous version of Python installed, which was Python 3.6 on this system. Since I now have Python 3.7 installed, I want to remove these because I don't want to use Python 3.6. I don't want to confuse my system. I want it to know to use Python 3.7, not Python 3.6. And before I click OK, I'm actually going to bring up that file folder. So here's the, um, here's the Windows Explorer. Notice I'm at that directory. I'm in the Python directory. I have Python 3.6 and Python 3.7. So this was the previous version of Python that I was using. I no, I no longer want my system to use that. So to tell it how, how I can tell it that is by editing editing these system environment variables. So now if I click OK and I click OK and I open up a command prompt. So I'm going to the Windows search menu again. I'm going to type CMD to open a command prompt. Alternatively, you could also press Windows R to bring up the run window uh, and then just type CMD and that will also open a command prompt. doesn't matter. Whatever way you want to open a command prompt, just get it open. Uh, so now that I have this open, I can test to see if Python is working and if it has the correct version by just typing Python. Now notice it says Python 3. Uh, 
3.373, which is the version that we just installed. So we know that Python is working correctly. And I could do uh, some basic Python stuff. I could say, you know, Mitch equals, uh, I don't know, my name is Mitch. Click enter and I can do print Mitch. So I'm printing the variable Mitch and then it prints out the value to that variable. So I'm just writing some Python just to see if it works correctly. And as soon as I want to exit, I just click or I'd write quit and it now uh, exits Python. So I'm no longer using Python. So now that Python has been installed on the system and we know that we have the correct version, I can move on to the next part of this course, which is going to be starting up Django and installing Django and getting everything we need to use that uh, web development framework named Django.